Okay, welcome to this quick run through on the G Suite integration with Buzz. Let me explain my setup a little bit. So, Jenica Roberts is my student. I'm going to Alt Tab over to a green banner which has Thomas Webster logged in as the teacher. So, I'm going to flip between those in order to walk you through this presentation. First, a little bit about how things are set up. I'm going to go to the admin panel. And when you come down to the admin, you'll notice that there is a configure G Suite option. If you click on that, typically it's going to come in unabled, not checked. And if you check it, you're going to say what's the drive folder where you want to go. And then you're going to go through creating a G Suite key. And then you're going to paste it in here. There's more documentation and a link on how to do that. So that's how you set it up. Leave that and come back over to the teacher account. So first thing I want to do is just talk about drives itself. So I'm logged in as a drive. I'm going to create a template that I want the students to fill out. This template is by a company called Cognit. They work on metacognitive instructions. So this is a form they have you fill out. So I'm going to add this as a template uh, for students to fill out. So I'm going to come into my course that I'm working on. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to add an assignment. So my title would go here, my description would go here, and then when you come to settings, you would set a number of things. However, in a gradable activity, you now have the option of choosing a document template. This is an available option after you integrate with the G Suite tools. When you click on it, you can then choose your template. It knows what drive you're looking at. I grab the template I want, and I select it. I can preview that template to make sure I've got the right one, which in fact I do, and we're off and running. So that's all it takes in order to create a template. Okay, so let's take a look at how the student interacts with that template. So I'm gonna come into the course, and I'm gonna move down here to where I have my G Suite integration. I'm gonna come to the Huckfin assignment. Now there's two things that we can do. The first one, if I click on Show Dropbox, is I can choose a Google Doc. Certainly I could have created something already and that's going to pop in and take a look at it. Or with the G Suite integration, I can now create one from here. So I'll just call this my Huck Fin Assignment. And I'll go ahead and create that. And now I've got the assignment sitting right here. And I can go ahead and click on that. And it will open up and I can edit. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see it's all saved. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, here is my best effort. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it. So now that I've submitted it, you can see the document icon shows up as it normally would. And I'm going to move on to my next one. Well, here I've got this idea of doing a self-assessment. So I'm going to show the Dropbox again. But this time, because I created a template, it simply is going to allow me to create the attachment from the template. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see it's got a name for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that name. I'm going to fill out mine. And so now I can come back to the assignment and it wants me to answer the following questions. So I'm going to copy that, paste it down here. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Now, oops, I forgot to do something up here. So this is where it gets interesting because if I show my Dropbox, I've already submitted this. And you can submit more than once up to the due date, but if it's past the due date and you're using a G Suite integration, it doesn't preclude the student from coming in and actually editing it after they've submitted it. So what we do is we try and prevent that. This is edits after the due date. So let's kind of see how that works. So I'm going to close this down. 
And I'm just going to hide the Dropbox and be done. Now I'm going to head over to the teacher account and I'm going to come back to the grade page. Now in the grade book, you'll see that as we slide out here, there's a couple of submissions that I need to work on. So if I click on the Huckleberry Finn one and I take a look, it knows what my assignment is. It pulled it up. It actually can see there was a few edits here, right? And what we do on that, if I scroll down, so down here you can see the PDF that got created when I created the submission. And you can see that I can compare between those two. The student quickly finds out that that's the case as well. So anyway, it's a good preventative effort. It'll always be there and available for you. Now you may come back in here and you may say, oops, I really don't like this. Um, you need to work harder, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and leave a comment. And then I'm going to give her a score and a retry. Well, actually, I'm going to say, you need some more work, Jenica. And then I'm going to kick in a retry, right? I'm going to go ahead and grade the other one so I can see what it does here. All that looks great. Excellent work, Jenica. I'm going to give her full and submit. So again, it'll just pop it up and display it rather nicely. I'm going to head back over to the student account. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my view and come down and you can see I've got a 70 here. So if I come to the Huck Finn assignment and take a look, uh, actually, if I come up here and look, I can see, oh, she gave me, oh, what's this attachment? Oh, now I can see what she sees. Oops, I better not do that as a student, right? So you're gonna, we're gonna show them that information. But at the same point in time, I can see that she wants me to do some more works. I can either click on it here or I can go to my, my Google Drive and edit it from here. A little easier for me just to click it here. So now I can go ahead and get rid of this. Really don't want that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead. I could resolve this, but I'm just going to actually, I'm going to respond to it. Now that all the changes are saved, I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to submit it again because I had a retry, I could, right? So now I'm going to flip back over to the teacher account. I'm going to refresh my screen again. And you'll see that there's another submission over here for the Huckleberry Finn Adventure assignment. And you can see that it's been added. I got more. I'm going to go ahead and resolve the item that I left in there. And then, yep, sure enough, Jenica did some really good work. I'm going to give her full credit and submit the score. So I hope that was helpful on understanding how all of this works and how the G Suite integration can be super helpful if you simply turn it on. If you have any questions, ask. If you have concerns about setting up the G Suite, let us know and we'll help.